Welcome or welcome back to Red Hat. My name is Eric, the IT guy Hendricks, and I'm an operations advocate here at Red Hat. And as a former systems administrator, I cannot tell you how excited I am that you chose Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It truly is an amazing platform, and I think you will really enjoy using your subscription. If you're already a part of the Red Hat family, I'm so glad that you are seeing value in your subscription and that you're looking to add value and move more of your workloads over to Red Hat platforms. If you're watching this video, it's because you just activated your Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 for third-party Linux migrations. Just to recap, this is a low-cost subscription for CentOS Linux 7 users to migrate their on-prem and AWS workloads over to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7. Of course, June 30th, 2024 is upon us. Your, your infrastructure needs a place to go, and I can think of no place better than Red Hat Enterprise Linux. By moving to Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7, you actually can have an additional two years of security patches and updates beyond June 30th of 2024. This also allows you to be on a Red Hat product, which gives you all the support, all the additional features and benefits of running an enterprise operating system supported by an amazing company like Red Hat. This also allows you to dive into tools like uh, the developer subscription for Teams and more. So if you look through the content below, the, there's a whole bunch of other videos and links and descriptions. But in this video, I wanted to take just a few minutes to walk through some of the first steps. I wanted to walk you through, I have my subscription to now I've converted my first system and I'm ready to go on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The first thing I wanted to do was to point out our conversion guide. If you follow the link below, the conversion guide will help you anticipate any pitfalls. It'll help you plan your conversion. It'll provide you the exact commands that you'll need to do an in-place conversion from CentOS Linux to Red Hat Enterprise Linux, as well as what to do if you run into any errors. So let's fire up a browser tab and let's get your account ready to run Red Hat Enterprise Linux. The first thing you need to do is ensure the simple content access, SCA, is enabled on your account. If you're brand new to Red Hat, this is probably enabled by default. However, I highly encourage you to check just in case. So if you go to access.redhat.com, log in with your customer portal account and password, and navigate to subscriptions, right across the top, you'll see a banner on the overview page that says simple content access for Red Hat subscription management. Now that's a mouthful, and there's links below explaining exactly what simple content access is, but in short, it really, really streamlines getting from enabling your subscription to enabling repositories on your Red Hat Enterprise Linux servers. If you're interested in some of the history, there's some links below. Just make sure that slider is set to enabled. The next thing we're going to want is an activation key. This will further streamline your system registration process by allowing you to input your activation key and an organization ID into the convert to rel utility without having to manually log into the customer portal on every one of your systems. So, from the overview screen, click on Manage, go to Activation Keys. First, I want to point out that in the future, this functionality is actually going to be moved into our hybrid cloud console. That's part of Red Hat Insights at console.redhat.com. But for now, create a key by clicking New. Give your key an, a reasonable name. Then select your new offering. Keep in mind, my account here only has the Developer for Individuals subscription, so your exact output is going to look a little bit different. Now, with the key created, you can manage the life of that key as well as find your organization ID right here on the Manage Activation Keys screen. Like I said, this is great for tools like Convert to Rel that would otherwise require you to log into your customer portal account. With all that in place, we're ready to start preparing for our conversion. This is a perfect time to back up your systems. With something like EBS Snapshots, this is super easy. In fact, you may not even have to shut down your system. Although I highly encourage to get the cleanest snapshot and the cleanest system, you shut everything down, make sure all of your systems have all their updates. Um, that's just a simple yum update. And, and then uh, to shut down your system to take that snapshot. It just makes the entire process a lot cleaner and a lot faster. Now, if you're interested in trying this out in a disposable environment first, we've got interactive labs that are self-paced with your, with your instructions on the right and the terminal on the left, and you can try this for yourself over at lab.redhat.com slash convert to rel. Now, the exact instructions are in the article below. However, I wanted to point out that some other guy 
who looks a lot like me, actually recorded a convert to rel tech tip. It's about five minutes and it walks you through exactly why you want to do a conversion versus a rip and replace. But it also shows you hands on keyboard how to download the uh, signing keys and the repository configuration file, how to install convert to rel, how to add your activation key, and how to actually run the convert to rel utility. So check out that tech tip video. Highly encourage you to do so. It's short and to the point. Now that you've gotten the conversion process done, let's register your system with Red Hat Insights. This is our managed service that continually analyzes platforms and applications to help make sure that your hybrid environments are performing the way that you expect them to do. All you have to do is go to your Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7 system, install the Insights client package using the YUM utility. Then once the install is complete, you can run insights-client register, and that's it. Your system will actually start to upload data to our managed service and provides all kinds of helpful information, reports, management operations, right from the hybrid cloud console. And you can find that at console.redhat.com. Now, I know this is a lot to cram into a short video, but I feel like this will really help kick off your Red Hat Enterprise Linux subscription and get you closer to that hello world than trying to figure all of this out by yourself. As I mentioned a couple of times, the article below has everything that I'm telling you in better detail with screenshots and video recordings and links to additional materials. However, there's a couple of things I wanted to point out to you. Now that you're part of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux family, we want to help get you connected. You can find us out on the Red Hat subreddit. You can find us at RHEL on Twitter. And you can actually go out to our YouTube channel. We publish content like this all the time. We've got tech tip videos. We've got how-to guides, and we actually have a couple of live shows that I want to draw your attention to. The first is Red Hat Enterprise Linux Presents. We're live every other Wednesday to talk about RHEL as a product and how it fits into the industry, where the industry is growing, what you need to do to excel as a systems administrator. And speaking of becoming a better sysadmin, you can join us every Friday right around lunchtime for End of the Terminal. That allows you to, forgive the pun, get into the terminal to learn more about how to add users and groups, how to use Image Builder to define golden templates, or to do things as complicated as using OpenSCAP profiles to make sure that your uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux servers meet certain security criteria. We've got dozens of episodes, so make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit that, uh, hit that bell so you get notified anytime we go live. But once again, allow me to be one of the first to welcome you to Red Hat, and I wish you all the best as you start or continue your journey with Red Hat Enterprise Linux.